Sports title twice, and this 33-year-old would like another opportunity. He's been in against the best, like Terrence Ali. Though this was one of his six losses, it shows why Tyson has been a top contender for almost a decade. His few visits to ESPN Boxing have always been good ones and exciting, like this one in 1989 against Stanley Longstreet. And he says he knows how he can make tonight's visit just as good against Roger Mayweather. It was a painful experience, but like the true upwardly mobile boxer he is, he beats guys like he lost to the busy Zach Padilla, but he was okay with that. He knew where to divert his anger in a healthy manner to his next opponent. Draw 20, 44, but one time. Good. Great wins before that. Tyson stepping up from lightweight, and that could be significant because Roger, it's, it's junior welterweight powers. He's proven that. And the, I mean, is he going to... Always dangerous. I mean, he is the Tommy Hearns of the lightweight division. There's that... And early in the bout, he hurt Padilla early in the bout. But a lot more coming into the fight. Earl Tyson isn't exactly what I... Does look, uh, not too much perspiration on him. This fight against Kim. Expect early in this fight. Distance from which... Interest, and that, that appears to be the way. Tyson really trying to use the jab against Mayweather. You're going to beat him. And also Tyson setting up the right and the left hook by getting... Both men kind of sitting back and waiting. And the evidence of everything else was a jab. The second round starting off much like the first. Fight every second of, of the round, of every round. That's what Zach Padilla did. Roger Mayweather. It's all... Face himself and get into the rhythm of the fight. Roger Mayweather. There's Tyson working inside that end there, Willie. For Holden, which we saw him... Holden like a professional. Inside, he is throwing... It's not that Roger Mayweather is a bad worker round so far. Actually, nothing. I'll be very interested to see the numbers on Roger Mayweather in the second round. And Sid Charisse didn't like it one bit. Let me take it. Only 24 punches thrown in that second and yet, can you? Mayweather's fighting like he doesn't want to fight. Who said Roger Mayweather? But Tyson, Tyson able to whack him on the inside, jab his way in, and get inside pretty much when he wants. And there's no, so far, the big right hasn't been there from Roger. That doesn't mean the way he's going to win the fight. Being that busy on the inside, now or Mayweather has, because he doesn't want to let Mayweather hold the entire fight. And and Tyson's doing his share as well. Tyson talking to Mayweather, saying, come on, come on. Rogers is in many fights where he's a tough round to judge. But it's one in which Mayweather has certainly done more. Oh, I could listen and get some points. Just ask him. Start the fourth round, as you look at the numbers in the size. See, I ended up giving that round to Mayweather, despite uh, what the numbers show. As did I. Both men getting busier here. And, you know, Tyson's not in a good position to throw that left hook. He's off to the his right a little bit too much. That's the way Livingstone Bramble was when they fought. He was able to step to the... I'm sure you heard Joe on the AP show, but once... Tension. Tyson's throwing a pretty good jab. At hands than I would have expected. I would think he would have been Mayweather being a little sharper now from the outside. And remember how effective Padilla was with the jab against Roger Mayweather. And they looked at the Padilla fight. And Tyson is not against Mayweather from that position. Bramble couldn't do it. See, that punch just doesn't get there. you got to step to the left. And Roger makes you do that. Good right by Tyson. Nice combination. Oh, and another left hand. Hurries by Tyson looking for him. But Roger has thrown some good left hooks on the inside like that. Good right hand over the top. There's a position where right, we've seen Roger Mayweather get... I have the feeling watching this fight that what he realizes is it is... Frankly, I mean, you have to look at him and say, even though he is showboating a bit, he's doing... Your...
came right in. Yeah, that's that's right in, didn't it? Uh, about Mayweather getting the most out of what it. But to compound that, Tyson's letting him do that. Now he's pacing up a little bit. Move ahead, and he's throwing more. It's just we're comparing it a little bit to Padilla and even Carl Griffith in the last fight. Plan too, and that is absolutely. He doesn't want to uh, totally. And the, the thing is the jab of Tyson, which is really working for him. He's landing it. He's using it. To, he's right there. Chances are very slim that Tyson's going to get knocked out. Nice combination there from Tyson. Excellent work on the inside. This is hey, if you're going to. You would expect it to be tough. He'd lose three pounds today at the weigh-in to get down to the 140-pound uh, limit. You know, all this is not super landing those shots here and there. Oh, in there. Nothing. He might have found a secret here, and that is get inside and stay there. Listen to this. Just as the bell took, and it rocked Mayweather at the end of that round. And he wobbled Joe Joe punches. He's landing what he throws, but and he's throwing enough? so I landed more of what I threw. And a lot of that is happening right here. But as we throw it, as we look, he does it, he does it extremely well. And in this round, and the part of Mayweather that people don't notice sometimes, just like they don't with Tommy Hearns, it's a good left hook to the body he has, and he's shown us that in this round. I saw Rafael Morales, who's a very, uh, not a junior welterweight, whack him with some very, get out of it. But now the pick, Tyson's on the outside and getting that left hook at the end of the round. So, Roger May, over six, and we'll be back. Round six, and, and one thing you need to know about those 21 punches, and you saw it. Yeah, so, so do you. 57 yeah. off. There's Mayweather now landing those big rights, but Tyson getting on the ropes where Roger doesn't like to fight. The corner next time they come in. Mayweather has regained control. And one thing that Tyson has not been able to land is coming over from Mayweather. There's the double jab. And when you double jab, you like that. Good right hand. He's done that more in the recent year. He's going to land that left hook. And Tyson is not in a good position to throw that punch. Good right hand again. Well, he still brings that right pretty quickly. And an uppercut. Now the left on the fight. You know, he's fighting like what he is, and that is an angry fighter. Yeah, he had him in the ring, outside the ring, leading up to the fights. She has a right to be if he wants to. And, he's, and his performance has generally a good shot, but not exactly what he wants, because it came after Mayweather had landed some very good counter punches. He came in. Another good shot from Joe O'Neill, who is clearly the strongest man in the ring. The number jumped up so much for him. It's in the last two rounds. Oh, big shot by Tyson. Left there. hand, and that pinned Mayweather against the ropes, and he hammers him with him to the right. The last two rounds, and it jumped up his punch total considerably. They've been looking for an assistant. Maybe he can come down. He's getting the job done in the ring, that's for sure right now. Although, in this round, he's let Tyson through the fight, and uh, a big really gives you an idea of what really is happening in the fight. Good hooks, oh my. But you know, Mayweather hooking with Tyson, and while he's landing, Mayweather has the right to sit in that corner forever if he wants and wait for the guy to come in. And there he is again. He wants, obviously wants Tyson to come in. Effectively as he, he holds, and there's another oh. shot from Joe O'Neill. Well, I'll tell you what we got going on here. The commissioner. And I'll tell you what, I mean, he pushed him hard. Big fan of referees push just there to break up the action. Roger Mayweather getting a little testy with Joe O'Neill, too. Uh, but Roger, you know, Roger came in like Joe O'Neill. Well, now, i got to tell you something. That's inappropriate. We're okay with each other, right? And with that high uh, we're all okay with it. Yeah, it really is interesting because oddly enough, he's been standing outside and do what he did and counter punch. And Tyson out trying to work inside and doing a fairly decent job of it. That's good left hand from Tyson. Roger Mayweather is looking like the guy who's got something in the gas tank. Yeah where he can get it done. He's on the inside. He's just not in. And he's missed hooks like Mayweather's under hook. A point away, for instance, for holding from Mayweather. Yeah, and I think Roger Mayweather knows that, to tell you the truth. There he's holding and hitting a little bit. Maybe that's the thing. Kind of a very intelligent fight. He took a right hand. Paper cut on the inside. As we look at the numbers through nine, and Mayweather's really starting to get a pretty decided 30 some punch, including us. The fact that Tyson allowed him to do some of his middle rounds. 
You know, I have to say, too, that Joe O'Neill is being more tentative now because there's no question in my mind who said it. And he ate the room. He had a the shot on him there. Somewhere along the way, he's not doing as much talking, as much showboating, just taking care of business. Even in victory, should he... ...author his thoughts in his head, but he's obviously distressed with Joe O'Neill. He sensed that. 12, and we'll be back. And uh, Daryl Tyson might... It's been a fight that has showcased every trick in the sport of boxing. Just about. We have Tyson Yan, which is on the other side. Joe O'Neill has gotten in there to break him, but as you said, not as definitive as you would have thought he might have some trouble with because of the weight loss, etc. Now he's landing some Roger Mayweather type right hands and maybe shaking Daryl Tyson. I think he's got Tyson a little bit hurt here. Wallace and here is really a tough one for Mayweather. His credentials, I, I would think it's very... In the battle of left hooks, he wins it. Five rounds, and I'm going to give him this one, too. End of the left. Punch edge. And uh, just as it was against Carl Griffith, when he was rocked by Griffith. And Griffith. Again, and Joe O'Neill got him a step over toe hold with Phil Nelson. Speed week coming up right after. She's kind of anxious to chat with me about this fight. Huh? <laughs> maybe over coffee, maybe over express off. Right now. He's doing a number off the rope. He doesn't like to be, but he's doing it tonight. I win here, and, and you got to say a way to go, Roger. Yeah, and put a foot hard in against the guy, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger puncher, and uh, couldn't quite get it done. Unless they write Roger Mayweather off again. Mayweather's going to come over here as soon as the bell rings. <laughs> oh, don't be, don't be so self-centered. He's probably going to go to Larry Hazard, or maybe to the punch counters, if or maybe smart. to the judges. If he's smart, he won't go anywhere. Terrible, terrible wow. team, Tyson. Man, that's amazing.